Maria. We're the Thrifty Nerds. Uh, we decided to create this YouTube channel so you can you guys can follow us in our journey of doing eBay full time. Maria just graduated college in May. She graduated from Sac State with a degree in criminal justice. Um, she decided to do eBay full time while she is on her journey to law enforcement. Uh, I graduated. December of 2015 with a degree in sociology and I am also pursuing a, a job in law enforcement so while we do that we wanted to do eBay full-time and I've been doing it full-time for about a year um, Maria since May since she graduated um, but I've been doing it part-time since I was about 16 in high school making money um, I was an athlete, so I didn't have time for a job, so I needed a way to make money because I didn't want to ask my parents all the time for money, so I decided that I would sell on eBay, and then in college, I met Maria, and yeah, so she pretty much inspired me to do it. I was working a part-time job five hours a day, and that money wasn't cutting it, so saw the potential that eBay had and decided to go ahead and following her footsteps and ever since then we've both been um, thrifting at the bins, retail, Goodwills, pretty much anywhere we go. Um, we frequent Disney a lot and Universal Studios. We have annual passes to both so we go anytime we go there we thrift at the LA bins which is super cool because they have a lot of higher end brands than when we thrift here in Sacramento so it's really cool to get to go and write everything off and just get to thrift in a different town. So we're fortunate fortunate enough to live about 45 minutes from two different Goodwill outlet stores. So this week we went to one and we spent about three, three hours, three and a half hours there. Um, and we, I spent $120 and I'm not sure, we pay about one, what is it, 149 a pound? 149 at the Sacramento and one... I think it's 149 at both actually. Yeah, it's 149 at both outlets here. Um, so I spent 120, and, and I spent like 50 something. So yeah. I think for me it was one of my better hauls in both quantity and quality. I got a lot of quality yeah. items, and I think you did too as well, right? Yeah, I got a lot of brands that she usually gets just because I'm new. So when I go, I've I've pretty much stuck to the same brands that I've been buying from the beginning and I'm slowly getting into the higher end brands just because I'm able to recognize them. Um, so I did find things like James Purse, Cool, um, Tool, and Loli. So I found some brands that I never find before. So, so yeah, yeah. we're going to do a haul, which... I mean, this is our first video, so it might be so the it's, longest because it's we be did. long and we might laugh and it might be choppy and the video quality might be terrible. But, but. yeah, um, <laughs> we have all our info down below. If you guys want to, you know, send us some tips, help, tell us what what not to do. <laughs> we promise this is gonna be the worst video. Yeah, I, we know but, it is. So uh, yeah, don't be afraid to let us know. We'll change up what we need to if we need to add anything, not do something. Yeah. Uh, just let us know. It is our first one. So, yeah, here we go. Um, we'll let Maria start it off. So the first thing I grabbed was, um, not in the order that I grabbed them, but first thing I have here is an Aeon, um, no, it's pronounced Ion Headwear. It's a snowboarding hat. So you see here it has the, see, this is going to be, we're going to have to figure out angles. <laughs> so it's like kind of like a hunter's cap with the flap, side flaps. And I'll show you guys the tag right here. I think I put this one up for about twelve ninety nine. Um, the comps on it were decent, so I was just, you know, I figure with winter coming up, it'll sell pretty well. So yeah, we got all this about I think yesterday, right? So yeah, yesterday. Um, some of it is listed. We're still working through the piles, so about twenty five percent of mine is listed. I think the same for Maria. So yeah. I think the rest of the week we'll be working on getting it up. Um, my first item. Uh, it is actually Melissa McCarthy and Seven Jeans, like a collab. Um, it's a size 18, and it has really nice, like, embellished back pockets. So I do well on Seven Jeans in general. So being that it's a collab and they have really nice pockets, 
I think I've asked uh, 30 or $35, I think I have can get for these. Have you ever sold plus size 7? I have never sold plus size 7. Oh. So that's, you know, 7 know jeans, Melissa McCarthy and plus size. I think that's a pretty good find. True. Um, I found a Sierra Nevada trucker's hat. It's, um, it doesn't have the tags, but it is new inside. You can tell it's never been worn. It still has the cardboard uh, comps on it. One sold for 18 used, so I put it up for $24.99, I believe. Uh, this is just a basic Under Armour women's v-neck. <laughs> Wrong side. Uh, just a size small. <laughs> Usually, I mean, for these, I can get 10 to $13, so yeah, I would go up in that price range. And then, like, both of us, we have our niches, like, about what we buy I know a lot of people, they maybe stick only to men's or only to women's or only plus size. But for the most part, I I buy more of the plus size than, and she buys, you buy more of like... Um, men's. Like yeah, more I men's. When I first started, it was all men's clothes because that's the videos I watched on YouTube. It was a lot of men's clothes. So within the last year, I have got into women's clothes and plus size and even <clears throat> kids clothes more. But... Um, I personally know more about men's clothes than I do women's. I'm still learning about women's clothes every day because yeah. there's so many different styles, brands. So it's a whole Literally. different world. <laughs> so um, right here is a brand new with tags Fila. Um, it's the it's the it's called Live in Motion. Uh, the comps on it weren't really that great, but the um, what I was looking at was that the pictures weren't that great either. So I think I put it up for fifteen ninety nine. This is just a women's <clears throat> Under Armour sports bra. Another $10 item. Really, you know, Under Armour's a really fast seller for me between a $10 and $15 range, depending on what item it is. So I can see this flying out the door at 12 bucks. Yeah. And then, like, this, um, a brand I never buy, A Buyer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Brand new with tags, but, you know, when you shop at the bins, sorry, it's a little pencil skirt. <laughs> When you shop at the bins, you know, you have the freedom to, even if it does sell for seven, eight bucks, you know, that's yeah. pretty much... And new with tags. Yeah. I mean, new with tags much, can't go wrong. Pretty much pick up anything new yeah. with tags. Like, I wouldn't pick that up if it was used, but because it has the tags, you have a little bit more leeway. Um, this is a White House black market skirt. Just a, you know, another basic piece that I could sell $10, $15 um, pretty quick. Um, then another brand here that we do great with, um, Columbia. Uh, these hiking pants, little capris for women. Um, these fly, like, within a couple weeks, if anything. They usually sell, especially around this time of the year. Probably for about $15.99. Um, another brand that I pick up is pretty much only at the bins. This is Ann Taylor Loft. This is just a, you know, cute little top. So, again, another $10 item. Hard to put these on the table. And then um, this is my first time finding this brown tool, which Brittany sold before. Um, I found the same exact shirt here. And if you guys ever see a shirt that we don't know the style of or we call it the wrong style, just let us know because, I mean, again, I, we're new at women's clothes, yeah. so there's a so lot I of just names put, like, we don't know. Cinched top. But yeah, so, she found uh, two of the exact same, just yeah. two different colors. So I lotted them together and I put them on auction yeah. because. I couldn't find the exact, I couldn't find the comps on it because I couldn't find the exact shirt. So I just put it on, I think on a, I'm going to start it on a $9.99 um, auction plus shipping. That's another thing too with shipping. We, for the most part, if it's going to, if it could ship first class, we ch we don't charge shipping. So. Um, this is the weekend uh, concert t-shirt. I think it's a small. Um. Again, I pick up concert shirts. I mean, I think, especially with the weekend, he's pretty relevant right now with the younger crowd. True. So, uh, I'm pretty sure this will go pretty quick between, you know, $15, $13. Um, this right here is a Puma Ladies French Terry pullover. That's new with tags. That's why I like when they have the tags and they tell you exactly what to look up on eBay. Um, the comps were about 20 bucks for the new ones, so I put it up for $19.99 free shipping. Um, <clears throat> since it is back to, you know, back to school time and people are going to start shopping, you know, for themselves, their, their kids, um, these are Old Navy jeggings for girls, size 14, they are new with tags, um, but yeah, this is like, you know, standard 
school pants, you know, with like the what they wear uniforms or something. So I'm pretty sure um, these will sell relatively quick. Yeah. <clears throat> and then this one, like going through the bins, you know, when you get overwhelmed, you only you're only there a few hours and you get so much. <laughs> Sometimes things get overlooked. This thing has a paper clip as the zipper tie so I just put it up for I think like $4.99 plus shipping um, on an auction and it's a DC sweater so with back to school you know maybe someone wants it just for <laughs> yeah. a kid to mess with another um, Ann Taylor loft piece these are just uh, some pants um, they're actually really cute though they all have a little zipper down by the ankle if I can get it right there um, they're size 10, so that's a pretty good size. So I'll throw these up at like a $9.99 auction and see what happens. Yeah, and then um, I, w I walked up to a bin and I pulled out like three brand new, um, two brand new Nike golf polos. So they have these, you know, weird logos on them, but I still put them up for $19.99 just because some people might just want them for when they're maybe not going out <coughs> golfing with, yeah. So, and then this one is the other one. It's just a purple one as well. And they're both, I think, extra large. Uh, this is just J. Crew men's uh, slim fit, though. So slim fit does a little bit better. This is a smaller size, but again, I think with back to school coming, a lot of people are going to be shopping for their kids. And I mean, a men's small fits, I don't know. Probably some kind of, some high schoolers. So <laughs> someone will buy this for their child. Um, this is a, a granite gear compression sack. My ultimate favorite thing to find is outdoorsy stuff. I mean, my family camp every summer, so when I find stuff like this, it's hard not to keep it for myself. It literally just compresses a, a sleeping bag. Like, I don't need that. So, <laughs> uh, But put it up for $28.99. They, they sell brand new for about $34. So take a best <clears throat> offer of it, like $20. Uh, this is a women's ex officio like outdoor fishing shirt. It's vented in the back. Um, obviously the women's don't do as well as the men's, but I mean I could still put this up and get especially this time of year fifteen, with no problem getting fifteen dollars. Yeah, this is a size thirty two Volcom board short. It has the name inside. It's a four way stretch. Um, they put this one up for twenty four ninety nine. The comps are really good on them, so this I guess this style is more desirable. Uh, this is a men's Land's End extra large. It's a long sleeve shirt. Um, Land's End is is a brand that, for me, I think it will sell quick. It just, I mean, it won't bring you a high dollar amount, but I think, especially being that it's a bigger size, um, it'll sell pretty quick in the, you know, 10 15 $16 range. Now, no offense to the the ladies who, are, who like Quacker Factory, but <laughs> just, I can't even talk about it. It's a size eight. It's a Quacker Factory sweater. She's just never seen Quacker yeah, Factory. Yeah, I was like Brittany, and she's like, "Yeah, I saw that." I was like, "Okay, I guess I get it." So I think I put this up for twenty dollars. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll change my mind. Um, I've n I've never really sold this brand, but this is something else I'm branching out into: plus size clothing. So this is Catherine's two X, and this is just a dress. I picked it up because it was a cute dress. And it's 2X, so I thought I'd try it out, especially at the bins, like Maria was saying. It's, when you're, you know, you're sourcing at the bins, it's easy to pick up brands that you've never heard of or styles, you know, just to see how they do. So that's what I'm doing with that dress, and we'll see how it does. Yeah, and then I picked up these RVCAs. Um, I have a pair of shorts up right now, too. I haven't noticed if they're fast sellers yet, but... Um, the comps are really good, so we'll see. I think I put these ones up for $18.99. They're just, uh, brown board shorts. Uh, this is, uh, just women's, uh, Nike dry fit long sleeve running shirt. Again, this is something just like Under Armour that you put up $10, $12, and it sells pretty quick. You know, all this running gear, pe yeah. you know, people are all about it. And, I mean, she pulled out, I think, what, like... I think in one bin, you know, they pulled it out, all the people were there grabbing, grabbing... Well, then the next bin came out, so everyone moved to the next bin, and they didn't dig on the bottom layer of the bin, and I pulled out a ton of running clothes, like a, a ton. 
which so you'll, you'll see, see in yeah, this it's haul. Insane. But all the running gear was from the same bin that was already picked through by and people. It had to have been the same persons, too, because they're all the same yeah, size. Yeah, roughly all around the same size. Yeah, you're right. Uh, this is a medium Walking Dead Daryl tank top. If it was my size, I'd totally keep it. I love Daryl. I put this one up for $9.99. Um, it's from, I think, Hot Topic. So. Um, these are just Old Navy, but they're curvy. They're curvy profile size 10s and just shorts. You know, another uh, quick sell of Old Navy. I mean, it's not going to, again, not like a big, high money seller, but these are quick flips. And I mean, when you pay bin prices, I don't, you know, I can't, yeah. I can't not pick them up. Um, this is Loft Outlet. It's an extra large floral skirt. Um, I've never, I have, I'm barely starting to buy Loft because Brittany sells it so much. So, um, I think I put this one up for $17.99. The comps, there wasn't very many comps on this style of it though. Um, this is a J. Crew Sunwashed Oxford Men's Shirt. Um, these types of shirts I do pretty, I can sell $20, $25 range. I have no problem getting that. Um, so I love finding these J. Crew Oxford shirts. Yeah. Um, another thing I like to sell is like the skater brands like uh, Vans, Quicksilver, Hurley. Um, second I put them up, they usually sell. This is a Vans uh, white and red striped uh, button-up polo, which, I mean, with back to school, this is perfect. I think I put it up for uh, $19.99. Um, this is a brand I've never heard of, but again, we're out the bins, so I figured why not try to pick it up. Um, this is called Lorenzo Uomo. Um, I think when I looked it up, it's sold at Nordstrom. Uh, so I figured why not, I'll pick it up, and I think I just listed it at $19.99. And I'll probably take an offer between, you know, $15 and $17. Um, this is Topshop. Uh, it's a brand that Demi Lovato wears. And it's a size six. Honestly, I thought that the comps would be a little bit better. But have you sold it before? I've sold a few pieces. Yeah. I mean, I think I put it up for, I think I put it on bid, starting at nine ninety nine, just see where it goes. Um, I wasn't able to find very many comps on this exact style. Um, another, I think this came out of that running bin that had all the clothes. This was just an uh, Under Armour men's running top, medium. Uh, yeah, another $10, $12 piece. Um, this is a Wrangler Collector's Edition. It's Dale Earnhardt. Um, I put this up for $19.99. I mean, Brittany, we're talking about we have to really get down whether or not the brand, like certain things, like Wrangler is now sold at Walmart. So you have to watch out and make sure you don't get like Walmart Wrangler because the value is going to be less than just um, regular Wrangler. Um, this is Men's Valentino, a really high end brand. Um, couldn't find many similar shirts so I just put this on auction starting at $19.99 I mean even if I get that I'll be happy because you know I paid less than a dollar for this yeah this is an Ann Taylor Brown blouse I put this one up for $9.99 the comps are pretty good for like the thin little blouses they don't really have specific names but um pretty much any style like that was $9.99 yeah um this is one of my favorite brands to find and I get really excited because I can <laughs> sell them between 25 and 39 you know 40 bucks dependent on the style but I don't find it very often but when I do it sells for me within about a week it's called Nat Nast they're these uh, just bowling shirts these type of bowling I don't know what else you would call them my high school teacher wore them <laughs> but I found two of these in a bin um, I found that one and then a blue one but yeah there's the tag uh, pretty excited I love finding things that I know are, you know, a little bit more money than the $10, $15 that I average, you know, on items. So, pretty excited for that. Yeah. And these are Oakley shorts. I put these ones up for $19.99. Anything Oakley that I usually get sells, um, as long as you're pricing it within the um, comp ranges. Oh, this is just another Ann Taylor Loft piece. I put on auction $9.99. Um, it's like a, you know, cute little top, so I think this one's a small, yeah, this is extra small petite, so we'll see how that does. Um, this is a lacy Forever 21 dress. It's cute. It's really cute. We don't mm -hmm. really pick up Forever 21 very often. Yeah, um, you know, you rock into Forever 21, everything's, it's pretty... 
I mean, in lots. Affordable. If you find yeah. a bunch of the same size. But we um, realized that actually um, anything plus size, but plus size Forever 21 does really well for us. Um, and so that's why the smaller sizes, if it's really cute, yeah. we've started grabbing them. I think I put this one up for fourteen ninety nine. Again, not a huge money it's maker, but it's going to sell because it's cute and it's back to school time. Yeah. So It's dependent on the style. Yeah. I think with literally any brand, like to Target, to Old Navy, yeah. like if it's cute, I mm, mean, it really it. doesn't matter that what brand name is on the tag. If it's cute and in style, somebody's going to buy it. Like, uh, again, the Forever 21, but it's brand new. But this is a really cute dress. Uh, so, of course, picked it up with the new with tag. I think I probably would have picked it up even if it didn't have yeah. tags because it's just a cute dress. But um, I put this up, I think, for about $15, $15.99. And I could take it off for between, you know, 10 and $14. Uh, this is my first Jane purse. Um, I was looking up what they go for online, and there was a a cashmere sweater. This isn't cashmere, but the, a cashmere sweater was like five hundred dollars. But the eBay prices for this brand I couldn't find for the women's sweaters, so I put this up for um, starting at nine ninety nine bid, and I'll just see what happens because again, it's my first time with that one. So this is a, a brand <clears throat> that I sell a lot of. Athleta, but I sell a lot of the workout gear because I believe that's what's more known for. But this is like a like a cargo type skirt. Um, so I've never sold something like this. So I put this up on auction nine ninety nine. It is a smaller size, I believe it's a two. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. And this is a Nike Pro magenta V neck. This is bread and butter, you know. If you put it up, it's probably going to sell for about $17. Yeah, the pro line is... The pro line is the is, best one. Yeah, it's way and better. And then if you, if you get the pro combat, that's even better, so. So this is these are just women's Adidas. You know, just the basic shorts. I buy these and... Or I find and sell these, you know, daily. These are, you know, good $10 shorts. Yeah. And they're really light. So no question, you know, when you're at the bins. Socks, they're not ripped. Yeah. Um, or dirty. Yeah, they usually are. Um, these are Ultimate Slim, uh, Old Navy men's shorts. They're like they feel they don't feel like linen, but they look like linen. So that's why I picked these ones up. And they're a bigger size, especially yeah. with the men's. Yeah. The bigger sizes, just I mean, even women's plus size, uh, they do really well online. You yeah, know. So I mean, you might pay like twenty dollars for these when they're on sale. So I put these ones up for I think eighteen. Um, these are I you know I'm. Not again with women's. I'm not really too knowledgeable on the jeans, so I, you know, the best way for me is I just see brands. If it feels nicely made, if it looks nice, I usually stick to. If it's slim, you know, anything slim fit, I buy it. So these I've never found before. They're buff. They're buffalo. Um, but these are mid rise slim boyfriend. So they're really, <coughs> let's see, they're really thin. So I figured. Why not? I'll try it out. I think I put these up. I think I put them up in 1999 and, you know, best offer. So we'll see. They're pretty light, so they'll go first class. So I do have free shipping on these. So we'll see what happens. Um, this is a plus <coughs> size, size 20, City Triangles dress. The City Triangles, I've never heard of it. But when I looked up the comps, a lot of the clothes sell anywhere from 10 to $30. Um, it's a cute dress, It's too. geometric. Like, the new stuff will sell for $30, not the used. Um, but, yeah, so it was actually... I think I put this one up for... I charge shipping on this one just because it's a little heavier. But I think I put it up for $19.99 plus shipping. Um, this is a, a Toomey bag. Um, so I picked it up. I haven't done any research to see what type, what, what you would call this. But, I mean, the brand Toomey... I sold little tiny like cosmetic bags for twenty bucks, so I'm sure I can get at least the same for whatever this bag is. <laughs> oh man, um, this is an old navy boyfriend shirt for it's women. Cute plaid. It's like you're for back to school too, and even if, even though not back to school, just because it's cute. Yeah. And, like, we usually don't pick up Old Navy, but sometimes, you know, like she said, anything that's cute, a cute style, no matter the brand, it's going to sell, mm. even if it is for eight or nine bucks. This is Laurel Birch. 
Um, I've sold the mugs, you know, of this brand for fifteen twenty. I've sold a vintage, uh, like pattern or a, what is it? Oh, fabric. Fabric. I found a lot of fabric at the Way and Pay, and I've sold it for I think thirty five, forty bucks. So we call the bins the Way and Pay. So yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> my whole family refers to it, and it's stuck. So they call us. So way if you and hear us say Way and Pay. Yeah, uh, yeah. My dad literally calls me "Hey, way and pay." I'm like, that's not. So <laughs> this one is just like a vintage, maybe '80s shirt, and I mean, come on, it has cats all over it. The name is called Fantastic Felines. <laughs> so someone who absolutely loves cats, who maybe even knows this brand, will love this shirt. So I think I put it up at night. I didn't know they made clothes. Same. And this here are Tommy Hilfiger light jeans. They're the mom ones. They're vintage. So I put these ones up for 20 what bucks. What size are those? I think they're like, they're small. Yeah. Size 8 on there. They're pretty average. But they're size 8, so super cute. Uh, this is a girl, like a, a women's uh, Adidas jacket. So again, Adidas is really popular right now. It doesn't have the logo or like the spell out, but it does have the stripes. So I think I just put this up for twenty five ninety nine. Um, shouldn't have any problem getting you know getting that being that winter is coming. Us uh, jackets and sweaters and all that starting to sell. So I mean, if you have all that in your that you haven't listed, I'd get it up now because yeah, you know this is the time where people are going to start back to school shopping. And every year around this time, I just start selling jackets and sweaters like crazy. So I usually stock up all year. Like you should see my garage. I have mounds of jackets and sweaters. <laughs> yeah. Try going through that. Yeah. So <laughs> get them all up if you have them. No, and then having now that I'm like getting into the flow of everything, I think I started eBay like probably right before the winter rush I guess not the winter rush but when people start buying a lot during winter the four, fourth what do they call it fourth quarter fourth quarter see I'm such a noob um during the fourth quarter so I was selling Columbia like crazy and then it hit the summer season and I was like Brittany what's going on and then I'm like and today I sold like three Columbia things so everyone's starting to buy them again uh, this is just a girl women's American Eagle plaid shirt I put this one up for fourteen ninety nine, I believe. Um, just another bread and butter piece. They don't bring in too much money anymore, but North Face. I mean, I'm still. These are just women's like capri pants. These are pretty quick sellers. Fifteen bucks. Um, yeah, North Face. The market got flooded. Uh, this is the Loli that I found. I don't know. How do you say it? Loli? Loli. That's how I'm saying it. If I'm saying it wrong. Don't send me how to say it with words, cause I'm not. I can't read those. <laughs> what is it like? <laughs> I'm a college graduate, but I can't read. No, those. like you know, when you're next yeah. to a word and it says like how to sound out the word. Yeah. Yeah, I never got those dots, so they don't actually ever teach you that in school. So um, great, now I sound like so dumb on the internet. Um, <laughs> these are just hiking pants uh, right here. They just unzip right here at the bottom. Uh, so these are really like the Columbia ones. I put these ones up for twenty. The ones plus that shipping. that are uh, what do they call that? Where they zip? The zip off. So they they are you know different sizes. Like you can turn into shorts or capris or whatever. Those do Those, amazing. I we can they, within use, a week. Yeah, if, within a week. If if that within a week they will they will sell the convertible. That's what they're called. Convertible ones. They sell amazing. So this is Ralph Lauren. Uh, this is another bread and butter item. For me, I sell Ralph Lauren, you know, very, very often. Um, but this is a nice one. It's 2XLT, so it's a tall, and it's a jean. So this right here, well, I think I put it up for 30 or 40. Um, this will go pretty quick, being that it's a bigger size, the jean shirts are in, and it's a name brand shirt, so no problem. And yes, sorry, her pug was choking or something. So Yeah, had to save her. Oh my god. Uh, these are BDG uh, pants. Uh, I think, yeah, skinny, gray. Again, like we, we've been saying, back to school. So I think jeans will, will start selling pretty good for us. This is a brand I've never heard of. Neither one of us had. It's Love Tree. has a barcode on it. So it's a cardigan, lacy cardigan. Um, yeah, these also cute. It's super cute. So probably at least 10, 15 bucks, even if the brand isn't great. Um, so like I said, I've been getting in some more plus size clothing. 
This is Avenue Denim. No, I'm not. I've never really heard of that brand, but mm -hmm. um, it's a size 16 and they're shorts. So sorry if I know. <laughs> You're good. Sloppy I notes. think Avenue is a mall brand. But yeah, it's cute. They're cute shorts. Um, this here are just Vans plaid shorts. Probably get about 15 bucks for these. These men's shorts right here, these little cargo shorts. The skater brands usually sell for 15 or 20. This is, I've never heard of this. It's called Mason Jewels. So, I mean, if you guys know about it, let me know. Um, but it was just a cute tank top. I think this is super cute. So I, I picked it up. I figured, you know, these cute tank tops sell pretty well. This is, I think, what what did we say? Like Hot Topic? Probably? I think it's um like or at PacSun, Tilly's, Tilly's, oh, okay, Tilly's yeah. one of those. One of those. Um, it's Bullhead, just black, little distressed. They have the frill at the bottom. Distressed shorts, probably put them up for ten, fifteen. Um, this is Cabby. Um, I do actually really well with Cabby. Old Cabby, new Cabby. This is the newer type oh, of Cabby. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. I think I've only picked up the new tag a few times, but I, I sell it every single time. So, this is just a cute jacket. And, I don't know, I haven't researched it, because they all have style numbers in, it, in there. So, if you get cabby piece, you can search the style number, and it'll come up. So, I haven't done research on it, but I can imagine 20 at least. It's a really cute top. Yeah. I've noticed, I think that's one thing, I hope no one comments on it. I say yeah every time you finish. So I'm going to point out all my flaws because I know I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, this is a lame Bryant. What did your mom say? Cowl neck? It's called a cowl neck. When it looks we like asked that. my mom who... Her mom knows everything. Her mom is also an eBay seller. My mom does <laughs> all kids clothes. So her whole... Like, when we go to the bins or to a thrift store, she comes with us and her whole haul... His kids' clothes. His kids' clothes. Hannah Anderson, Hannah especially. Hannah Anderson, Janie and Jack. Minnie Bowden. Maggie and Zoe. Um, you name it, she sells she, it. She, that's her thing. I mean, her, she has her full-time job, but she calls eBay her fun job <laughs> and her relaxing job. So, she, you know, she does her full-time job during the day and at night she sits around with us and lists her, you know, kids' clothes, which, you know, I have nieces and nephews and she has grandkids, so she absolutely loves shopping because she not only finds you know cute stuff for them yeah. she turns around and finds stuff that she can make you know a lot of money on and it's amazing how much money there is in kids clothes i mean she goes to disneyland and has to spend nothing out of pocket sorry her brother came home and is judging us anyways <laughs> it was my turn this is the cow neck <laughs> cowl not cow it's just Lane Bryant. It's just a dress, so probably sell this one for about $25.30. This is a Nike shirt. Men's. Um, it says, Run with the Hunted. So another $10 to $15 shirt. Excuse my dog. I don't know what she ate. <laughs> Alrighty. This is just an Adidas polo. It says Nissan on the side. So usually things with like car companies do pretty well. So I'll probably put this one up for twenty bucks. This is a women's REI, um, just a workout or hiking top or you know whatever you want it to be. So that's a good ten bucks. And this is a Volcom size seven women's plaid cargo shorts or capris, Bermudas. Bermudas is what they're called. Um, probably put these ones up for $19.99 best offer. These are just Levi's with, uh, girls. Uh, they're skinny. They make a maroon color. They are a size 9. So again, back to school. So I don't see having any problems selling these. This one I think is the Silence brand. Silence plus Noise. If you've heard of that brand, let me know. Um, I just picked it up because it was a cute tank top. I love the zipper. Yeah, it's got a really cute zipper in the middle. So I don't think that that'll be hard to sell at all. It's really cute. And who knows, it might be a good brand, I don't know. Another brand I've never heard of. It's e Elodie. E-L-O-D-I-E. 
just a cute long sleeve and like a heather or I don't know what kind of heathered look. I don't know. But it's really cute. Again, I would have kept it if it was my size, but it's yeah, not. It's super cute. And then here we have some North Face hiking pants, women's. Probably a good 20 bucks. Um, Tangerine. It's like a women's athletic wear brand. Uh, just a shirt cinched on the side. Um, I think like 10 bucks. This, you know, this workout stuff, regardless of the brand, does really well. And this is a Sacramento Kings cousin's shirt. I don't know how well this will do now that he doesn't play for them. So it still doesn't... has a lot of Sacramento fans. A lot yeah, of people so... here still wear yeah. this. Like, honestly, I would wear this to a game, even if he didn't. Even though he still doesn't play. Well, he's playing against them. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is a vintage uh, Western shirt. It has the pearl snap buttons. Uh, that side over here. No, just a cute. Has the like the flower embroidery on the. So I don't. I think like I think I'm gonna put twenty twenty five bucks until maybe if I look up the brand it'll be a little more than that. I don't know. Yeah. It's called Shoot Number One. Never heard of it. So we'll see. And this one is pronounced, is it pronounced Bobo? I have no clue. Okay. I think it's sold at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack because my mom wears it. It's just a pink and red shirt. <laughs> Probably put this one up for 12 bucks. This is an Adidas. Just a, you know, another running shirt. Another $10, $12 item. Oh, I know what item I'm saving for last. <laughs> This is uh, just scrubs, just one scrub tops. Uh, scrub tops are pretty quick and consistent sellers. Uh, so it has cute little butterflies in it. Mine's cuter though. It's Disney. It is cuter. Sorry. It's the Dalmatians. <laughs> so I'll put this one up right away. They're selling like crazy. So, And I never really buy scrub tops, so I figured why not start with Disney. Uh, Coldwater Creek, again, just experimenting. This is size 16. Just a cute top, maybe a 10, 12 bucks. Uh, this is an apartment nothing. New with tags swimsuit cover. It's got a hood, long sleeve. It's really cute and see through. So, and it's really light, even though I don't know who would wear long sleeves during the summer. But yeah, so it's really cute. Maybe New, probably to, 20 bucks. Maybe not to get burnt. Uh, Rockin' Republic jeans. I believe these are women's. Um, so, I've never, again, testing the jeans, never have sold Rock and Republic, but they have the big old logo on the pockets, so we'll see. They're sold at Kohl's, right? I believe so. You would know. You worked there. I'm not going to disclose anything on how I feel about that. Um, and this is a Sophie. Sophie? It has a $30 tag on it, so... It's something I think you'd wear underneath, like a base layer type thing. So I'll probably put it up for like 15 bucks. This is uh, another brand I don't really pick up, but again, it's brand new tag, so club room. And it was size 44, so just men's shorts that, what, 10, 12 bucks again. You know, all this little stuff, you sell like 15 of them in a day, 15, 20. You know, that all adds up. Okay, so. I don't know how to display this one. This is Victoria's Secret Lingerie. Now, who is it that sells the lingerie? Rockstar Flipper? Mm -hmm. He's all about his lingerie, but he has a point. This stuff sells. The times that I've picked it up, it sells like almost instantly. Especially Victoria's Secret. I pick up anything Victoria's Secret. But it's like really cute, like... <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, it's very risque. You better so, wash it. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's not clean, so... That's disgusting. Okay, so I found this. I've never found one of these before. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to put it on auction. It's really heavy, so I think I paid like five plus for this. But I bought it out of curiosity to see what I would sell it for. It doesn't have a brand, but it feels really well made. It is a kilt. So I'm curious to know... <laughs> how this will do. Have you ever sold a kilt? I've Let never sold a kilt. I've never found a kilt. So, yeah, if you know anything about them, please <coughs> let me know. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. Um, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. That's, that's all my stuff, by the way.
So. so this is just again straight modern stray loft jeans. Just a basic pair of jeans. 10, 12 bucks, maybe 15. I don't know. So yeah, she usually buys more than me just because her store is bigger. She can afford to, you know, have more inventory than me, so she'll be done usually before me. This is, I've never found this brand, but I've seen many sellers online sell it and sell it for pretty good money. It's called Icebreaker. So I found, this is with all that running gear. So this is an Icebreaker shirt, and I found another one, which should be coming up soon. Um, this is just a New Balance shirt, what, 10 bucks maybe? 8 to 10. The bright colors usually do better, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, these are just J. Crew jeans, another basic um, seller for me. Uh, again, you know, 10, 12, 15. They are yeah. light. They're first class. This is Sasodi. This sweater. Um, it's actually a really cute sweater jacket. So, um,. I don't know what I'm going to ask. Again, I haven't really researched. Um, okay, there we go. This is brand new. Uh, I don't sell Express, but these are brand new with tag, like, sweatpants. So, why not? Ten bucks, maybe. Uh, this is a champion jacket. So, I don't know. I know I've noticed it's popular right now, especially, like, yeah, kids. a lot of a lot of brands that weren't doing great are coming back right now. Like, um, like obviously the vintage Fila and stuff, but Champion as well. Uh, I've never heard of this Swirl Gear, but it was just a, you know, workout top that I think I could sell ten, twelve bucks. This is Vogo, um, another brand I've never really heard of, but it's a cute little workout top. So, picked it up. This was cool. Brand new Nike. The camo, the pink camo, super cute. So, I was pretty upset that was in my size, but I'll gladly pick it up. Another Nike. I think this is women's. Uh, USA Olympic team. Um, this is Columbia. Brand new with tags, uh, women's shirt, so, you know, another $10, $12 item. This is Jerry. I do actually really well with this brand. I didn't um, see that you found that. I usually can sell these for $20, $25, $30. Bucks. So, this is more of the basic one, so probably like $25, but always, always do great with it. Um, actually, I just noticed, look at this, it says... The tag, I can say new. The remnants of a tag. The remnants of a tag, so I can say new without tags or new with partial tag. New with. Um, this is style and go. I never. I don't really pick it up, but this is super cute. <laughs> new with partial tag. Yeah, I don't think I'll that's an option. I'll make my own option. New with partial tag. But oh, yeah, this man. is a cute like tunic top. So couldn't pass that up. Again, another plus size. This is a 30, 32 Avenue. Cute little, you know, top. I'm gonna test it out and see, hoping ten, twelve dollars, ten bucks, I'm happy. Um, Ann Taylor, like a, you know, career style dress. Um, do pretty well with them. So those, you know, women, they need to buy clothes for work. So something by Chico's. Uh, I do really well with these. Nineteen ninety nine, all the time out the door. Um, these are black, so I do pretty well with those. Sorry, I keep yawning. It's two in the morning. We can't sleep. <laughs> um, these are Current Elliot, really, really good brand. I don't find it very often. I know I've seen like Kim Kardashian wearing these. I'm not sure where it's sold, but I do pretty well with these. Like thirty, twenty-five, thirty dollars. This was a pretty awesome pickup. Nike jersey soccer. Um, I'll, I think my brother might want this. So I'll ask him. But pretty good pickup right there. Probably 30 bucks. Easily. Um, Oakley. I think Maya showed you a tag already once. Uh, but these are, sh you know, some shorts. 
She put hers up for 20 so maybe I'll do the same. I think mine are a little bigger size. Yeah. So maybe 25 Yeah, we found that we can price the bigger stuff a little bit higher. So this jacket, I don't know what it is. If you guys know anything about it, let me know. It's from 1999. It's like a satin jacket, and it says, War is Hell. Can you help me pull it over there? Oh my <laughs> and then it says, Knocking on Heaven's Door. And it says the same what, on what side? On this side. So it feels brand new, like it's never even been worn. It's an extra large. Um, so I don't know what that's from. Did you look that up? Um, I looked it up on eBay. There's nothing on it. So I don't really know. We'll see. Maybe I'll throw it at an auction and see what happens. Or just price it really high and go down from there. This is men's. This is Bugatti Uomo. This is a pretty good brand. Um, I do like, you know, 30... 35, maybe 25 if I take, if I'm feeling great that day or I want to take an offer that low, but these are always really nice shirts. They usually have the flip cup, cuff, you know, um, pretty good designs. She made a good point, like, the fact that we source mostly at the bins, we can, if, if, if the, the value of it is, let's say, 30, 40 dollars, we can afford to take a 25 dollar offer just because we paid a dollar or two for each item versus, you know, the retail Goodwill prices. Yeah, which are insane lately. At least here, they're pretty expensive. Yeah. Oh, this is the other icebreaker. Um, you can't really see it. It's a really dark logo. Or not even a logo, it just says the name. This is just another men's icebreaker. So I was pretty excited to find two the first time I found it. Um, this is Nike. It's a tennis shirt. It has the little tennis logo on the back. So that's cute. Um, another dress that I'm testing out as far as for the plus size, never heard of the brand. It's called Studio One New York, but it is in size 20. That's actually a really cute No, dress. it's so cute. It's like a good material too. So, we'll see where that goes. It's really pretty. Haven't really researched it yet, so we'll see. Um, Ron John, Ron John's Surf Shop. You know, I get 10, 8 to 10 bucks on these all day. You know. People like these shirts, or men like those shirts, I think. Chico's, some, some Capri's, or Bermuda's, I don't know. But they're really, um, Chico's for me is a really fast seller, whether I do auction or buy it now. Again, I don't know this brand, it's called Meadow and Rue. Uh, but it is a really cute shirt. I had like the sequins on it, so I really like it. I think it'll do pretty well. <laughs> um, How many more do you have? A few. Okay. Um, while she's grabbing those, uh, this was an item I forgot to show you guys earlier. Um, Lululemon. Um, it's a brand we find every once in a while here. Um, but if you guys know anything about what the style is, because I looked it up and I couldn't find anything. This is the print. And then it's a racer back, so like that. So if you guys see, if you guys know, let me know so I can put that up. Um, this, this isn't a great brand, but I really would like the women's stuff, like maybe 10, 12 bucks. It's Michael Kors. Which is crazy because it's so expensive. Yeah, my mom just bought a purse last couple weeks ago. It's insane how expensive it is, and then how much it doesn't sell. For I mean, the purses do good, still, but yeah, it's insane how much of this shirt costs retail, and then how much you can get it for on eBay. So this is a Sasoni bra, or yeah, Sasoni bra. It's like, um, oh yeah, just in the back. I thought it was front clip, but it's not. But yeah, this is like a ten, twelve dollar item. And then here's some more of those running shorts. So these are New Balance. And then these are North Face. And one more North Face. That's crazy. So yeah, these will all go in that lot. I think now there's, there's seven. So pretty excited about that. And then the last few... No, there's one more. There's one more. So I wish this fit me. I am a San Francisco Giants fan. And this is caught fuzzy looking. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this was my size and it's not. It's a small, which, no. 
But yeah, super cute shirt that I will have trouble. Although they've been losing, so we might, might have trouble, trouble selling. selling it. Yeah. Um. So I filmed a bunch of these plus size pants. So it's called Women Within. Never heard of it, but I found they're twenty four W's. So I found one. Are you gonna lot those together? Two. Yeah, I'm gonna lot them together. Three. Four. Well, no, I lied. Those three are women within. These are Liz and me. Same size. 24. And this one is Sonoma, but it is also a 24. So I figured since they're all the same size, I might as well lot them all together. And they're all different colors. Um, funny thing same about style. these was I put them on my cart and we were waiting for a bin and I, I like put my hand down and I happened to put my hand down like on top of one of the pockets well I felt something in the pocket and I look there's twenty dollars in the pocket <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about that yeah it's definitely if you don't have a bin near you that's definitely always like the dream is that you pull out you know in a backpack or in shoes or in a pair of clothes an item of clothing that you pull out money so yeah so that was I think I found a couple dollars every now and then but twenty is definitely the, the I found a lot of quarters yeah. that I still get excited about <laughs> yeah, twenty dollars is is the highest amount I've ever found so personally as we've excited. witnessed someone find a few hundred so yeah we've witnessed people find a lot more but you know one more time is that it. Yeah, that's all, everything I know. Same. So yeah, um, we're planning on doing this probably once a week just with our haul. Um, probably not every single item, but like the best of what we find and maybe mention the other stuff. And then and maybe once a week. Um, so do a haul once a week. And then maybe on another day do like uh, an update, a uh, sales update. Maybe yeah. like a weekly sales update. And then we do plan on in between maybe doing vlogs like us at the bins or at the, the retail stores or... You know, wherever we do our sourcing, because sometimes yeah. we do go to, like, um, Ross or Marshalls, TJ Maxx. You know, we do go find those higher. We pay a little bit more for... Yeah. But retail yeah. arbitrage is, like, if you find if you find the good brands, it's really, it's really good. Really yeah. Yeah. So definitely. Like, so we'll do that during the week. And then being that we are both annual... Half, like, my family and her and a couple members of her family are annual pass holders to Disneyland. And Universal Studios. Um, so we go there quite a bit. Uh, we went two weeks ago and we're going yeah. again next week. Um, so while we're there, we're avid pin traders and collectors. We are so. pin fanatics. We love Disney pins. Uh, anything so, Disney. Hence our name, Thrifty Nerds. Like, we geek out so, over anything Disney. We plan on doing, like, pin hauls. Pin hauls. So when we go, we're going to be there for a so week. Excited. Next, next. For, actually, we're going Monday to Friday next week. And we want to do a haul when we get back to show you all the pins we've traded for. Because not only do we trade with the actual boards at Disneyland, we trade with other people. We yeah. meet there. So we do come across some great pins, you know, that we personally love. Um, or find really cool ones on the boards that are amazing. So we do plan on doing those too, so keep an eye out for that. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's it for today. Thank you for sticking it in there with us. Sticking in there with us. And I'm gonna do like the classic: like, subscribe, and comment below. <laughs> yeah, our, all our info <laughs> is below. Our, our Instagrams. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah, our we'll update eBay that stores, Instagram. Our Instagrams, our emails. If you have any questions yeah. or any comments or anything you want us to know, what we should shouldn't do, what we did right, what we did wrong. <laughs> you know. And this is our first video, so we're going to get it more together and it'll eventually be more flowy. And yeah, so again, everything's below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Bye.